Island Adventures. As you can see, it's a great day for fishing and stuff like that. Now you folks out there don't know this, but we got a special guest today. I want you all to pay attention. Learn, this is the man, Trent Rasnor. How's it going? <clears throat> Trent, why don't you tell the folks at home a little bit more about what kind of fishing you do and what kind of fishing we're gonna see today. Well, today, uh, Guy, we're gonna be doing some, uh, some shallow net fishing. It's a great, perfect year for this sort of fishing. Um, we do it all the time. Um, I learned it from my dad, he learned it from his grandfather, and, and today we're going to be doing some of that. Thank you. Yeah, sure. That's great. Okay, thanks for coming down. Again, I'm Guy Preston, special host today, Trent Rasnor. We're going to be just talking about fishing and doing this net stuff he's got going on. It should be really exciting, so why don't you crack a cold one and come hang out with the boys here at Island Adventures! As you can see, it's just a great night for fishing. We're all geared up and ready to do some stuff with Trent. He's going to show you, people at home, the art and the value of fishing in the lake bed. You know, guy, you don't really need those fishing poles. We're doing net fishing today. I don't need these poles. Whatever. I brought stuff that we might need though. Brujas. I'm really excited about doing all this fishing with you. You're one of the best fishermen I've heard in the whole Pacific Northwest for lake bed fishing. I hear that you're the guy that people call when they want to learn how to do it. So hey, uh, i just curious, so how, how do you guys go about getting government approval? I mean, you guys actually know how to work with the Better Bureau offices and stuff in the state of Washington's Department of Agriculture and Fisheries about draining lakes and things like that? Yeah, yeah, we drain the lakes. Um, uh, we got um, government approval. We um, basically we signed the contract, uh, the uh, Fisherman's Agreement Act back in 1985. And, yeah, we've been draining the lake for years. We come out here and do a, a bunch of lake bed fishing. Basically, um, you know, we cause it to where the uh, all the fish have to like congregate into the central area, and it's just you know teeming with fish at this time. And we come down here and we just scoop them out by the thousands. We got a couple truckloads the other day. We're gonna come down here today and saw a few stragglers, so we're gonna get them. So, uh, hey, Trent, I had one question. Yeah? So, uh, this stuff that you got here, I noticed you had some of these floater things on the ground. What are those all about? Well, basically, uh, it's standard procedure when you're fishing to uh, set up a division, which will, you know, uh, separate you from the other fishermen so they don't interfere with what you're doing. And you just kind of stick it out here. Let them know that you're, you've claimed this area. That's right, that's exactly what I thought you were gonna say. As you can see, people at home, Trent's a real fish master. He knows all about lake bed net fishing and subsidiaries and stuff like that. It's a great place. We go fishing here all the time. Yeah, I just need to, um, Tighten the net as you can see, it's come apart here. Just gotta tie it. And, uh, Did you need another beer? Ah, uh, uh, you crack me another cold one, sure. Alright. It's one thing I've always loved about fishing. I want you guys at home to watch. It's coming apart. Watch him. See, a lot of people don't know how to tie proper nets. 
Now, tell me, tell the viewers at home a little bit about where you learned how to tie your nets and stuff. Well, uh, like I said, my dad was a fisherman. We used to uh, go out all the time and, and uh, well, anyway, um, this is good. I know you used some really good fisherman knots on that. I want you all at home to watch the technique. Watch the master at work. As you can see, look at the way he holds the nets. This is the way that he's learned his family tradition goes way, way back. Back to where you used to have to, indigenous people used to have to fish with nets. Watch until he's always got to check for hot spots. Because when you drain the lake for net fishing like this, am I right? Right, you're totally on fire. Don't try this at home unless you're a professional. Whoa, I think he's got one. Nah, it takes a few tries. Okay. You never get it on the first try. <laughs> I can see some bubbles. This is very exciting, people. Basically, you just kind of leave it there for a while and the fish will swim right into it. I understand, and that's why we drink a lot of beer. Yeah, well, we can go sit back now and wait. Isn't it just a great night for net fishing? This is the life. This is, this is what I do. My father was kind of a kind of a huntsman of sorts. Hey, uh, Sam, did you see that human throw those chips over there on the lakeside? I seen it, but I couldn't believe it. Where did those chips go? I'm lost. I can't find my way anymore. Oh, dear. So you can see it works every time, but that's not what this show's about. Today, we're talking about lake bed net fishing. Take it away. This is pretty common. Usually when you're lake bed fishing, you'll uh, pick up a few things that were sitting on the bottom of the lake. Here we got a little child's raft. I thought it looked kind of like some sort of Loch Ness sea monster. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Wow, net fishing really is exciting. Oh yeah, you get all kinds of stuff. Oh, I got a whole <laughs> collection at home. <laughs> so much for that. Fish Pro. Wow! Look at all those fish! How many do you think there is? About 15 or 20. Holy crap! Um, pretty standard for a fisherman what we do. We bring a bucket full of beer, we drink the beer, and when the bucket's empty, we use it to put all the fish in. And uh, we got about, uh, I counted about 18. There's some big ones in there. Yeah, we're gonna have a good old feast tonight on the barbecue. Well, I'd like to tell the people at home a little bit more about some of this other stuff that we found inside this net. Well, like I said, when you're lake bed fishing, you'll find all kinds of stuff. Uh, here we got some artifacts. It's amazing. If you people look real carefully, you notice we got some stuff that was found all the way back to the 1400 dynasty in the lake bed fishermen's. This stuff was... This was made by some indigenous child, probably about 10 years old, for his village. He made this for his mom on his day he became a man. And this here, I'm not sure, but it might be part of an old railway station or something. Some sort of ancient artifact, maybe used as a voodoo mask for some of the indigenous people. And this here, some sort of arrowhead that I think they used to kill seagulls with in the night. Anyways, as you can see, lake bed net fishing is lots of fun. There's a lot of artifacts to find on top of just fish. It's educational, and I hope you all learn something. Well, I want everybody at home to know it's been great with you all. Thanks for coming out again. Thank you for coming to the show. It's been a total blast. It's always a pleasure to have you, Trent. You're one of the best fishermen that I can say I've ever known in my whole entire life. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, people. Once again, I hope you learned something. 
and I hope that you know how to do some lake bed net fishing next time. All right, remember, Island Adventures! Spin it well! Fire up that Barbie, and I'm gonna go out for a long one!